What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and to today's video, which as you can see by the title, in today's video, we are going to be going through five different coats slash jackets that that I'm gonna be taking with me and wearing in 2021. So we're gonna be going through some, I guess, kind of like different categories of jackets. But on top of that, I'm also gonna show you guys some examples of the jackets that I personally have in each category. And as always, we'll show some on-body shots as well. But guys, before we get into the kind of like main chunk of this video, let's smash that thumbs up button because it really does help kind of push the video out there. And as well as that, if you are new to the channel from this video, be sure to hit subscribe as well for more men's fashion content every single week. All right, guys, so don't get me wrong. I do, of course, love the summer and the hot weather, but in terms of actual fashion, there's just something about the fall slash winter months. There's something about layering up with different coats, different jackets, it just hits differently. So like I said before, today, we're gonna to be going through the five styles of coats or jackets that I'm personally gonna be wearing moving forward into 2021. Now keep in mind, this isn't like a top five. It's not in any kind of particular order, but at the same time, the first coat that we're gonna be talking about and taking with us into 2021 is, of course, the overcoat. These are honestly such a timeless piece. And in all honesty, if I only had the choice to kind of take one coat out of all five that we're gonna be talking about in today's video, if I only had the option to kind of take one of them with me, this would be the one. So this, guys, is my personal overcoat of choice. It's from the latest Uniqlo U collection. You guys have seen me style this multiple different times before, but honestly, I absolutely love this piece. There's honestly so many different ways in which you can style the overcoat. You can of course be super formal, but on the flip side of that, you can also really dress them down and be super casual, which is exactly how I personally like to style them. So as you can see guys, I do actually like to size up in these just to kind of, I guess, enhance that oversized casual look. But on top of that, sizing up it does then also give you the room to kind of layer maybe a hoodie or a sweatshirt underneath on those colder days in terms of actual recommendations of where to shop like i said before mine is from the latest uniqlo u collection i'll link everything in the description down below and um, but pick this up from uniqlo u there's also some great options over at weekday and zara but on top of that if you do have a much higher budget there is a grail of mine, an absolutely beautiful piece that is from Ami Paris. So guys, the next jacket that I'm gonna be wearing and styling into 2021 would have to be the puffer jacket. You guys know that I absolutely love styling the puffer. And in all honesty, a year or two ago, I would have probably said that the puffer is more of a trend. But if that is the case, then it's definitely a trend that's here to stay. You guys know that I actually have quite a few different options when it comes to puffer jackets, but the puffer that we're gonna showcase in today's video is this beauty. So this is the coal jacket or the coal puffer jacket that is from weekday. So similar to overcoats, I like puffers to have an oversized fit to them to really kind of give off that casual cozy style that I personally go for and weekday have absolutely perfected that fit and look. Again, guys, multiple different ways in which you can style these, but what I would say is these are definitely more of a casual look in comparison to the overcoat, which like I said before, you can go a little bit more formal with them. I would say the puffer jacket is definitely a lot more on the casual side. But guys, a nice wide leg crop trouser, maybe a basic tee or a sweatshirt underneath, some chunky sneakers, and you're good to go. You guys know that that is definitely my kind of vibe when it comes to styling puffers. So like I said, this particular piece is actually from Weekday, but a few other, I guess, kind of retailers or brands that I would recommend would be Summit, I would say Cold Laundry and Cold Buxton. But on top of that, if you are on a little bit more of a budget, I would say check out the ASOS design section as well as Zara. Right guys, so next up, Jacket style number three is workwear jackets. Now this, this is definitely a style of jacket that is new to me. Something that I am only just kind of, I guess, venturing into, but at the same time, I am really excited to kind of see 
how I can implement them into my personal style. So this style of jacket definitely does have more of a kind of like vintage feel to them, which I absolutely love. It's a great option for me when I want to kind of change things up from my more I guess normal look which is kind of like a minimal aesthetic. So the jacket that I personally have in this kind of style is actually another piece from the latest Uniqlo U collection and it is this kind of like corduroy padded jacket in this it's like a very very dark grey colorway. Like I said this for me it definitely does give off more of a vintage vibe to what I normally go for but at the same time I am really excited to kind of implement this into my style in the coming months and kind of see what I can do. What I love about this particular one is the actual cut of the jacket. It's super oversized, but still has that slight crop in the body. And then on top of that, it's also super warm too, as it's kind of like quilted on the inside. So yeah, I genuinely couldn't recommend this Uniqlo one enough. But there's also some amazing other options too. I would say that your best bet for this kind of style of jacket would probably be vintage doors. You always have loads of kind of like vintage car hat workwear. So yeah, I would probably say that vintage stores would probably be your kind of best bet for this style of jacket. But if you're not much of a, I guess, vintage shopper, I know Ronning also have a beautiful, beautiful piece that is very similar um, and it's just been restocked as well. It may actually, it may already be sold out by now, but it's just been restocked. So I will link that in the description down below. So that is also another great option. But yeah, guys, the third jacket that I will personally be wearing moving forward into 2021 is this kind of like workwear style piece, which is from Uniqlo. All right then guys, so next up, jacket number four, or I guess kind of like category of jacket number four is a shacket. I, I think that's what they're called anyway. It's basically, it's basically a mix between a shirt and a jacket. Shack it. <laughs> so this is definitely a kind of style of jacket that is for, I guess, the slightly warmer winter days. You definitely wouldn't kind of catch me rocking this kind of jacket in the blazing snow. But on those days where it is kind of starting to warm up a little bit, it's a great option. So the shacket that I personally have is actually a new addition to my wardrobe and it is this beauty. So I picked this up from the ASOS design section and I absolutely love both the fit and the color of this piece. It really does give off that kind of like fall slash winter vibe. But like I said, these are perfect for them kind of like in between days. The days where it's not too cold, but at the same time, you still want to layer up and kind of add some texture to your outfit. So guys, in terms of actual recommendations, like I said before, mine is from the ASOS design section. So definitely, definitely take a look at that. On top of that, I would also probably go and take a look through the Zara website. But then if you have a slightly higher budget, I would definitely recommend the likes of Cos and Arkit. They will both have some beautiful pieces. But yeah, guys, the fourth style of jacket that I'm going to be wearing and taking with me through to 2021 would be the Shacket shirt jacket. All right, then, guys. So moving on to the fifth piece. And let's be honest, I couldn't do this kind of video without including the absolute staple which is a denim jacket when i mentioned a little bit earlier on in the video about a timeless piece well the denim jacket is the definition of a timeless piece so i actually have a couple of different options to kind of choose from when it comes to denim jackets but the one that we are going to kind of showcase in today's video is this kind of like creamy slash beige colored one. I actually picked this up, I wanna say about a year ago from the ASOS white collection and I absolutely love it. Obviously you guys know I love like the creamy beige tones. So big fan of the color, but on top of that, I also like the kind of cut and fit of the piece. Obviously guys, this actually goes for all the jackets as well. In terms of the actual fit, this is just complete personal preference. I just kind of like to go for the more oversized casual look. But depending on your personal style and kind of preference, 
You could also opt for the more classic standard fit, which is of course equally as good. But yeah, the denim jacket is an absolute timeless piece and a piece that I will most definitely be taking with me and styling in 2021. So like I said before, I picked this one up from the ASOS white collection, I wanna say about a year ago, but in terms of actual kind of like recommendations on where you guys can cop, similar to the workwear jacket, I highly recommend that you check out vintage stores, especially for denim jackets. It's filled with denim jackets in a variety of like cuts, colors, some beautiful pieces, but on top of that, they most of the time are also coming in at a great price point. From there, if you are, I guess, not much of a kind of like vintage shopper, um, like I said, I picked this up from ASOS, so definitely check out ASOS. I would also take a look through the likes of Weekday, Uniqlo, and also probably Urban Outfitters. Similar to the previous jacket, guys, the Shacket, the, um, the denim jacket is a great option for those days where it isn't too cold, but at the same time, you are you are kind of wanting to add that little bit more texture or kind of like depth to your fit. So for those days, the denim jacket is a great option. So guys, there we have it. That is five different jackets that I am personally gonna be kind of styling through the rest of this year and moving into 2021. So I want you guys to let me know in the comment section down below which kind of style of jackets are you gonna be rocking for the rest of the winter months? Before we head off, guys, I would really, really appreciate it, as always, if you could hop on over to my Instagram and give me a follow over there. I'm super active every single day, and it also gives you guys the opportunity to kind of keep up with me on a daily basis and also get some kind of like behind the scenes looks into me making these videos. So if that's something that you guys wanna see, definitely give me a follow over there. But that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, as always, please give it a big thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you are new. Drop a comment down below. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. It's it's basically a daily vlog. And I'll see you guys in the next one in, in a few days. Peace.